Um, Andre, earlier you mentioned that, and we were discussing this before, um, um, balancing different things at the same time, both obviously at work and even outside the place of work. Yeah. And you were going to share with me a, a strategy that you've developed over the years of how you can um, have a more balanced um, work-life balance in a way. Yeah, I, I, that's the, the million dollar question really, yeah. to find <laughs> that balance. And I think it's it's always very personal to find the right approach. Um, but I'm that kind of person that you speak to the people around with that they're like, I want things done yesterday and not today. So mm. that was something that was ingrained like in, in, in my personality. Um, uh, but through work, I've learned to, to handle that. And I think that was one of the biggest uh, learning curves, like the growth experience that I had since I've started working, I mean, in HR in reality um, uh, and working I mean, uh, and balancing the, the work life balance in reality. But uh, what I need to learn is that if, even if a project comes or a task comes, you don't need to finish it there and then. I mean, mm. there's a, a day of work that you have and you can commit and be efficient in it itself, um, but some things can wait. Um, uh, so you need to really filter through what comes in, see what can wait, what can't wait. Um, uh, and some things it actually makes sense to wait and reflect and think and not just give an answer there and then. Some things can, can wait. Um, so I've created techniques which work for me. I mean, like shared notes on your laptop and on your phone. So if you're going to sleep and usually before I sleep, like my brain shuts yeah. down. So as soon as I'm going to say, ah, I forgot to do that, I forgot to send that email, I forgot to send that, send that calendar invite, I just put down a note. Then I know the next morning I can get to it. Um, uh, so that's a technique that helped me find that that balance to find mm -hmm. uh, that that way of working. Um, but also that realization that not everything needs to be done yesterday. Yeah. Things, some things need to be done yesterday, and we need to do them and push them through. But other things, if you reflect upon them, if you say, "Listen, let, let's set up a meeting. Let's create a dialogue around it. Mm -hmm. Let's understand a bit more what we can do, um, and perhaps not be that yes, sir, I'm going to do it now, but." Get in that critical thinking that that growth mindset to understand. Okay, what can we do differently? Can does this need to be done this way? Does it need to be done now? Can I wait? Mm -hmm. Maybe um, can I wait the next week or tomorrow or tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So it's it's really understanding, uh, gaining a better understanding of how the business works, um, uh, what the priorities are, uh, challenging when you need to challenge what needs to be done, um, and using the tools around us and technology, embracing it yes, to yes. really make us effective and and work well. Um, uh, and there are a number of techniques. I mean, you can sometimes, although maybe you still want to be efficient and get your inbox cleaned, you can delay emails that you send out, like send an email in the afternoon, send it in the morning. Because generally, especially maybe if you're coming back from a holiday, mm -hmm. you have an inbox which is very full, you start yeah. replying, um, generally maybe from the top, because it's yes. finally the most urgent. Um, but if you start replying to them all at the same time, you're going to get uh, all the replies yes, generally at the same yes. time as well. So if you manage to space them out of it by delaying the send out, uh, you're going to really space out as well. Um, and we have the option now. So both, I think, both Outlook or, or Gmail. Outlook, if in Gmail, they, yeah, they all have uh, it now. Yes. Yeah, they, they all have it. They scheduled send. So you can, you can do it. It well. helps, you know. It, um, uh, it helps because it, uh, you have thousands of things that you need to catch up with. Um, uh, but it's more like managing that because before when you, I mean, you were a student, maybe you worked a few summer jobs here and there, maybe uh, some other things, you would manage generally to do things quite efficiently if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But the more that, of course, you have your, your layer of life commitments, your, your work, which becomes quite, quite demanding, the more you grow within your role, the more you're going to have more responsibility. Um, you really need to manage that because, um, I think if you don't manage it, you can you can risk getting burnt out, mm -hmm. um, especially if you have that real aptitude to like always push goals and then really want to to always achieve and exceed yes, expectations. Yes. Um, so that's something that I had to learn. Maybe I learned it the hard way because okay. um, it was a bit tough at the beginning. Um, but then when you find the right balance and the right systems that work for you, um, it, it, I think it's key to to sustain and then your 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 development.